So apparently this park is the place where the British landed in 1736 to establish a defense of the colony of Georgia. And in 1742, the Spanish invaded here. Love history. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. With no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. After weeks of hanging between St. Mary's and Fernandina Beach, we began to move north. We took the ICW up to St. Simon's Island, though we only stayed there long enough to move our cars to North Carolina. So we found this public park across the creek from Morningstar Marina. It's got a public dock, you can land your dinghy. It's got this beautiful little park. Quite unexpected. And so we're going to use it as disc golf. Um, we're going to use it kind of to stage out, to go get a few things, get our car, come back here hopefully, and uh, you know, start trying to move our cars up to Newburn, where we're going to keep the boat for yeah, a little bit. Right now, we are on St. Simon's Island. We're actually anchored just a little south of the Morning Star Marina. There's an anchorage. And being in Georgia these days, we have to watch out how far we anchor from docks and other structure because there's a thousand foot setback now. Um, for, for any boats anchoring, so basically it eliminated most anchorages in Georgia. So hopefully that law will get changed as soon as uh, COVID-19 is over. And we're trying to push north. We're trying to uh, make it to North Carolina. We're gonna put the boat up for a month, uh, go visit some family and try to dodge the violence and protests that are sweeping the country right now as well as dodge COVID-19. I have to say that 2020 has been just one brutal year. But I live on a sailboat, so it's been pretty good for me. Our stay in St. Simons, we worked up the ICW to the Wilmington River just south of Savannah, where we jumped back offshore. left Savannah really south of that we were in the Wilmington River down just a little south of Little Tybee Island and uh, just there overnight but we couldn't stomach taking the ice shore we're uh, angled somewhat towards Georgetown South Carolina uh, we'll go past Charleston sometime this evening and uh, get to Georgetown uh, if we feel good, since this is since this is the first time we've been uh, really offshore in over a month, if tonight goes well, we're just gonna keep sailing and uh, and basically wind up in uh, Beaufort, North Carolina. That's what we're shooting for. 
It's a pretty day. It's a little overcast. Um, we're getting about, we're actually getting a little under uh, 10 knots, 10 and a half knots of wind. And so it's, we're motor sailing since we wanna, we wanna keep to somewhat of a schedule. And the wind's supposed to pick up tonight about, I don't know, 10 o'clock tonight. We're supposed to start getting uh, 15 knots of wind. And that would be excellent because then we could just kill the motor and still you know, make the speed that we, we want to make to get where we have to. We haven't been shooting much video on our trip up the ICW. A few reasons for that. We, we shot a bunch of video when we got stuck going down this past spring, or this fall, I should say, of 2019, and it's just the same stuff over and over and over again. So we're we're skipping that for now, and you know our motivation's been a little low uh, with COVID putting the, the damper on on some of the fun we would normally have. But going anyway, if you're, there's a gap in our coverage or our our sailing videos because our, our motivation has waned a bit. We'll get back to it though. We didn't make our overnight. Just before dusk, thunderstorms started popping up on the horizon. So we decided to duck in. I doubt you'll be able to see this, but we are in South Carolina. We ducked in here last night to uh, avoid forecast thunderstorms out on the ocean or near the ocean. And we just didn't want to deal with it. But we're anchored off what is known as sort of Monkey Island. So there is an island here that has rhesus monkeys on it. I'm trying to zoom in and get them. They're, they're in this tree jumping around like crazy. I'm trying to see if there's any other trees where they decided they're doing their thing. I think I see one dangling. There he is. And they just popped on the beach. <laughs> They're chasing off these uh, turkey vultures that are on the ground. I don't know if they just saw our boats and they're curious and they're coming out. Um, it's pretty cool. Morgan's Island in St. Helena Sound is home to a colony of monkeys that are harvested periodically for research. You are not allowed to land there, but you can observe them from the anchorages. While we were there, why tried fishing for some speckled trout or redfish. He got something else. I'm gonna break that line on the prop or the, or the rudder. What? I ever had one on a shrimp. This actually looks like a bonnet head shark. Getting back up. Let me get a picture. Come on, buddy. I see you. Nice. Nice. What a good morning. We caught a little shark and saw monkeys at Morgan Island. Oh, you think he swallowed it? Yeah. We're probably going to have to cut it. Oh, well. Yeah, that was cool. Here's this storm off of Sullivan's Island. It looks like a thing of beauty. It's moving. 
looking at it on radar for a while. It does not appear to be moving at all. But this is what we're dealing with right now as we go offshore, just looking for these squall lines and thunderstorms and making sure we don't get nailed by them. After our stop in St. Helena Sound, we continued our trek north, headed to Cape Fear so we could go in near Wilmington. Okay, we're doing an overnight from essentially St. Helena Sound to um, Cape Fear Inlet in North Carolina. So it's, a, it's about a 40 hour run. Actually, maybe it's yeah, it's close to that. Anyway, tonight for dinner, the crew is getting shrimp and grits. That's the grits. But one of the crew only wants rice, so they're getting rice. So, so we're going to start off with, uh, with onions, some garlic, and celery. Then we're going to uh, brown some chorizo in it. And I, you got to forgive the motor. We're motor sailing to make uh, make it by a certain time in the morning. And in the background, the Coast Guard is uh, uh, actually sending a helicopter to rescue somebody who may have COVID from a boat that's out by the Gulf Stream. So you may hear that in the background. So there's the chorizo and garlic. Once this gets sort of clarified, we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna start peeling the shrimp right now. We had our dinner of shrimp and grits, and it was excellent. And afterwards, we watched a movie in the cockpit and settled in for a long night watch. Overnight, the wind shifted south, and the waves picked up quite a bit. As we approached North Carolina, the steep chop made it very uncomfortable. We limped into the inlet a little after dawn and slogged our way up to Carolina Beach where we stayed overnight. Sadly, we didn't get any video in Carolina Beach and all we have is the picture of these Brits donuts, which are the best donuts on earth. Always when I'm trying to record something, this happens and I can't, you know, obviously can't put that on the video. Anyway, we are headed down the ICW again, or I should say up the ICW, towards Beaufort, North Carolina. We just left Carolina Beach. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Alright. I'll just change the channel for a second. So we stayed last night at Carolina Beach um, at the kind of Carolina Beach City uh, mooring field. Um, it was just great to be on the mooring for the night after that semi-rough uh, passage from St. Helena Sound to Cape Fear. But we have an 80 mile uh, motor today. We didn't want to go offshore. The wind's behind us. I think the, the wave action was predicted to be about six feet. So rather than deal with that, we're just going to motor uh, straight down the ICW today. This part of the ICW follows the curve of the North Carolina coastline. Not at all like the twists and turns of Georgia. There are a few tricky spots where inlets enter the ICW, but overall, the depth seemed as charted and it was quite easy to make our way. All right, so we're slowing down to not wake the Marines because they do what Marines do here at Camp Lejeune. Bridge. That's what it looks like. It looks like they're building a bridge of some sort, or at least practicing building a bridge. Looks pretty cool. We 
We stopped for the night in Moorhead City. There are a few anchorages that offer decent protection to the prevailing winds from the south and southwest. In the morning, we started getting rocked by sport fishers coming by at 5 a.m. I guess there was a sport fishing tournament. City, you continue the ICW route until you get to the Neuse River, and then you turn west to head towards Newburgh. Carolina, headed to Newburn. We've got the enclosure down, not on the back so we can get some airflow, but on the sides so we can keep the rain off of us. But it's just mist and rain. It's probably been raining for the last hour and a half, and I think we're going to have rain for the rest of the day. But we're trying to get to Newburn, get tied up in the slip, check that town out. Just got to the News River. And, uh, well, making the turn to Newburgh. In our next video, we'll show you the town of Newburgh. And if you like this video, subscribe and click the notification button.